animals fight, children fight, people fight. But so unfortunate for a government to fight against that certain section of its population. Take a look at this video to see what happened between the Turkish government and the Romanian population during the period of Ottoman Empire. My name is KK and this is BMK Documentaries. Do you know at the beginning of the 19th century there are thousands of Armenians living in Turkey? I guess you should know. A large group lived in the eastern Anatolia provinces and others lived beyond the eastern border which is in Russia today. Life of the Romanian people in Turkey was really difficult as the Kurdish Muslims treated them harshly. Between the year 1912 and 1913, the Ottoman Empire received a humiliating defeat in the First Balkan War, which resulted to a loss of almost the remaining territory in Europe. Their loss in this fight placed all blame on the Armenians, despite their defeat mostly being contributed by their poor command system and ash terrain. It really does fight towards the Armenian Christians living in Turkey during the period. Between the 19th and 20th century, the ideology of the Armenian resorted to a mass violence in Turkey. This led to the Armenian soldiers and other non Muslims in the army being demobilized and transferred to a labor battalion where they were harshly mistreated. It is believed that the young Turkish government at the time conducted a deportation and mass killing against the Armenians, arguing their presence in the empire was a major threat to their national security. This was facilitated after the Ottoman Empire passed the legislation authorizing it. The Armenians' population was forcefully removed from their homes and marched to once concentrated camps in the desert in an exercise that was overseen by military and civil officials. The entire deportation was accompanied by mass killing and other forms of torture. Those who survived the deportation later suffered in the camps due to starvation and unfavorable living conditions. Armenian descendants today believe that such acts were unprovoked and aimed at destroying the Armenian population and thus terming it as genocide. However, the Turkish government has never confirmed such claims. Thank you for watching our videos, kindly subscribe for more documentaries, bye bye and see you in the next episode.